Welcome to Reading the Word with Luther for July 3rd. I'm reading to you today from the book of Romans, chapter 6, verses 1 through 4 in the Revised Standard Version of the Holy Bible. Here we go. What shall we say then? Are we to continue in grace that grace may abound? By no means. How can we who died to sin still live in it? Do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were buried therefore with him by baptism into death, so that as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in newness of life. This is the word of God. Luther writes about verses 3 and 4, saying, The apostle speaks in his own Pauline style concerning the power of baptism, which derives its efficacy from the death of Christ. By his death he has paid for and taken away our sins. His death has been an actual strangling and putting to death of sin. It no longer has dominion over him. Through his death we have obtained forgiveness of sins, that sin may not condemn us. We die unto sin through that power which Christ, because we are baptized into him, imparts to and works in us. He further declares that we are not only baptized into his death, but by the same baptism we are buried with him into death. For in his death he took our sins with him into the grave, burying them completely and leaving them there. To those who through baptism are in Christ, sin is completely destroyed and buried, and shall remain so. But we, through his resurrection, which by faith gives us the victory over sin and death, and bestows upon us everlasting righteousness and life, should henceforth walk in newness of life. Having these things through baptism, we dare no longer obey, live unto, the sin which still dwells in our flesh and body in this life. We must daily strangle it so that it may have no power, nor life in us, if we desire to be found in the estate and life of Christ. The fact that Christ himself had to die for sin is evidence of the severe wrath of God against sin. Sin had to be put to death and laid away in the grave in the body of Christ. Thereby God shows us that he will not countenance sin in us, but has given us Christ and baptism for the purpose of putting to death and burying sin in our bodies. Thus Christ was buried, that he might, through forgiveness, cover up and destroy our sin whether actually committed or inherent in us. He was buried that he might, through the Holy Spirit, mortify this flesh and blood with its inherent sinful lust. They must no longer have dominion over us, but must be subject to the Spirit until we are utterly free from them. Well, this is a little difficult uh, to put all together, <clears throat> so forgive me for saying it briefly and... and uh, sort of generally. Um, I am never going to stop sinning in this life. But I can stop living in sin. In other words, um, my practice each day isn't to uh, steal from people. Uh, my intention each day isn't to go out and lie to people, uh, murder people. Uh, commit adultery, dishonor my parents, covet the things that my neighbor has, etc. Uh, it's not my intention to do that. I'm not living in it. Uh, that doesn't mean that I might not spot somebody's uh, nice truck and go, wow, I'd like to have me one of those, um, and thereby covet. Uh, it doesn't mean that, um, you know, stray thoughts and even words and actions uh, don't sometimes happen, <clears throat> sometimes uh, because I meant it, because I was angry, or uh, you get the idea. Um, sometimes don't mean it, but it's still sin working in me. Uh, the point is that I'm not making a practice of it anymore because I've been baptized into Christ. I don't desire to do that anymore, but I'm still a weak man. I still am a sinner in this flesh and always will be. And so my sin is buried with Christ in his death through baptism. Uh, through my faith in Christ, he keeps it buried. My sin is buried away from God. Um, when I confess my sins, he forgives me. 
those sins are kept buried away from God. Um, by my faith in Christ, by Christ's death and resurrection. But I should be endeavoring to live a new life. Uh, my life won't be completely new, not all at once, and not ever in this life, completely and perfectly. But in the meantime, I have been buried with Christ in his death. My sins have been buried away. Uh, that is good news. That's good to know. And it allows us to continue uh, trying to live uh, the life that walks in newness of life with Christ. But we just must remember and have hope be comforted and have peace with God knowing that our sins when they do crop up are still buried away in Christ's grave forever let's pray thank you Jesus for so thoroughly taking care of us even unto eternal life thank you for keeping us yours in spite of ourselves we give you thanks in the holy name of Jesus Christ amen thank you for being with me today I hope that you'll be back with me again tomorrow for reading the word with Luther.